So this amazing artwork of Bra slash Bulla was designed by Solidify Art, otherwise known as Jameis. I will link to his DeviantArt down below. And special thanks to Reddy for restructuring it into a thumbnail. I appreciate it very much. Let's get to the discussion. So at long last, we have seen the birth of Vegeta and Bulma's second child, Bra, otherwise known as Bulla in the English dub. And I want to do a discussion about one of the most amusing and in some ways hilarious theories about the future of Bra slash Bulla in the series. It's not the worst theory I've ever heard, but it is one that I find very interesting. And that is the idea that Bra slash Bulla, because she was impregnated during a time when Vegeta had been training in God Key with Whis and Goku and people like that, and at this point has pretty much mastered God Key. And the theory is that because Vegeta impregnated Bulma during a time when he had God Key flowing through his veins, that it somehow created <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but try to follow me. It somehow created like a God sperm to where the, the god key actually went into Vegeta's sack, and <laughs> this is wacky. I'm serious, people actually have hit me up with this, where the, the god key went into Vegeta's sack and impregnated Bulma, and as a result of that, some people think that Bra slash Bulla may actually have been born with god key. Now, I want to address some things first and foremost, and I've talked about it many, many times before, but there's always new subscribers. Bra slash Bulla is in the manga and in Dragon Ball Z. She is not a GT exclusive character. Now with that being said, I want to remind everybody that the Dragon Ball Super continuity, the Dragon Ball Super series of events, just cannot correlate with Dragon Ball GT with the way the series is progressing right now. Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT just cannot fit in the same continuity. So the best thing to do when it comes to Bra's character is to just forget that GT ever happened when discussing the future of her character in this topic, which I know is pretty easy for a lot of you guys. So hypothetically speaking, people are saying that should Dragon Ball Super go past the end of Z and Pan and Bra become the focus, again, that's a huge if because there's no indication of this happening as of the recording of this video, that it could be possible that they're going to be really powerful prodigies. I mean, we've seen Pan flying as a baby and doing all kinds of crazy feats. It's not that crazy to think about, but the idea that Bra will have God Key flowing through her veins and thus be able to tap into Super Saiyan Blue. Now, as much as I think this theory is a cool idea, I'm not going to lie, I think it's a great idea. It's kind of giving me an X-Men vibe. The problem is that this theory has really no evidence to support it whatsoever. This theory is actually a takeoff of an old theory from way back in Dragon Ball Z where a lot of fans thought that the reason why Goten and Trunks were able to unlock the regular Super Saiyan forms at such a young age is because of the fact that their fathers, when they had impregnated their wives, Goku and Vegeta, they had already achieved the Super Saiyan form. Now understand, I'm not saying that they, when they impregnated their wives, that they were in their transformed state, because I imagine that could be a little bit dangerous, but uh, the fact that they already had the power inside of them, it transferred over, you know, like a, like a gene thing, like a DNA thing, into Goten and Trunks. That's always been a fun theory, but again, there's no guidebook, there is no interview, there is no article there's absolutely nothing in anything whether it be the manga or the anime that states this it's a 100 percent fan-made theory some people have been pushing it as fact and it's not it's just a theory now the gt perfect files do state that because bra has the blood inside of her from her dad she does have the potential to turn super saiyan but that's obvious. I mean, the same thing goes for Pan. We just never see it. They have the potential to, but we never see it. And that's because she has the blood, not necessarily because her dad can transform. Remember, King Vegeta couldn't transform and Vegeta was able to do it. So it's more so just the fact that she is a member of the race, not that her dad is that strong necessarily. All we know is that Goten and Trunks are prodigies. And as a result, based on the clues we've gotten, Pan is also a prodigy, and of course, Bra may be one as well. Like I said, I actually like the idea behind it. I really genuinely do, but again, I gotta 
You know how I am on this channel, guys. I try to be 100% factually based, or at least as factually based as possible. And I hate to break it to you, but there's no evidence to support either of these theories. It's just a fan-made headcanon. It's a cool idea, and I suppose maybe one day they'll actually use the idea if they want to, but there's just no evidence at all. Like, literally zero evidence. As of right now, the idea of Bra inheriting her dad's god power is just fantasy. Let me know what you think about the theory. Do you want it to happen? Do you think if Dragon Ball Super goes past the end of Z and a brand new story is told, focusing on the children and grandchildren of Goku and Vegeta, is it something you want? Is it a good idea? Let me know. Thank you so very much for watching this video and check out some other videos I've done like these right here.